Most Holy Father, Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you for all that has been done thus far. We pray that we have given glory unto your name. We pray that we've made a difference in someone's thinking, even someone's vision, the way they see things. But Father, we know that when it comes to our service, the word is for me. So Father, I pray right now that you will use me as you see fit to bring forth your word as you would have it to come forth. And Father, I pray that you will do what only you can do that you would add to it and increase for your people. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 The title of this message is Identity Defines Relationship. Amen. 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 Identity Defines Relationship. You can't trust me if you don't know me. <laughs> Amen. Come on. You ain't going to get but so close to me till you learn to trust me. Amen. 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 Until you know something of me or about me, you have no reason to desire to know me. Amen. 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 The word of God asks the question, how can a man or a people come unto God except they know that he is? Amen. There's no such thing as faith until you have a God to believe in. The word of God says that faith comes through hearing and hearing through the word of God. Amen. 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 So how shall one hear except there be a preacher, mm -hmm. a teacher, a someone that's going to go forth and tell somebody how good the Lord is. Yes. Amen. When we look in the Bible, we find where Jesus walked this earth and there were certain things he went about doing. Our scripture, as we read, we see where he dealt with his disciples. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that same question he dealt with his disciples, I want to pose to you all today. Yes. Whom do men say that he, the Son of Man, is? Amen. But the question is more personal as he asked his disciples. But whom do ye say that I am? The word is timely. Mm -hmm. Whom do you say that he is? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We find in our song, the song say he's a doctor in a sick room. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> we find others that say he's my medicine. Mm -hmm. He writes yes. on all my prescriptions. Yes. 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 Come on. Mm -hmm. As I told you with music, we say some wonderful things. Yes. Amen. Amen. But when sickness hits us, it's a whole different story. Yes. yes. But it's all about how well you come to know him. Amen. Yes. There's someone that says they were just looking for a closet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they could pray to. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But the word of God says, when they're, they're sick among you, call upon the elders. Mm -hmm. Amen. But people aren't going to call on you unless they trust you. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yes, and it's yes. not you that they trust. It's the God in you. Yes. Amen. 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 And sometimes... Unfortunately, it appears that God is missing mm -hmm. because there are some people that don't realize it today. They don't know their identity. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 The Bible speaks of ambassadors. Ambassadors are ones that go forward in the authority of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many ambassadors are in the house today? And not everybody can raise their hand to a question like that because that's not your identity. Mm -hmm. You got to know that you know that you know. Yes. That you know that you know. Amen. And if you lay claim to something that you don't know, that makes you a liar. Amen. And if you're a liar, then God ain't in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's trying to find a temple worthy of him, yes. a vessel worthy of him. Yes. So the first thing we need to identify here is who Jesus is to you. Amen. 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 When it comes down to who Jesus is, there are some powerful things here in the scripture. He asked a question that led to a discussion. And unfortunately, we don't get to hear but one answer. And that was the right answer. I'd love to know what some of the wrong answers were. Mm -hmm. 
How many of you know that sometimes you can do the right thing by knowing what the wrong thing is that you shouldn't do? Amen. Amen. So as we read this, Peter said something. Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. If I were to throw some questions at you all, or gave you all a test, I'd get some strange answers. For example, I'd ask you all, is Jesus God? Hmm. That would cause a little discussion. Yes. And I would ask some of you all, is, is he the son of God? Yes. And when I ask all these questions about Jesus, it's like all you had to do was really study your Bible, right? Right, mm -hmm. yes. But it's not about Jesus today, it's about you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I have done the work which thou hast given me. Yes. And when he prayed, there was a word that he prayed over it. It's almost like it was a little small plant. Yes. And he prayed over it. Yes. For that day and for the days to come. Yes. Y'all ever seen those long vines, a little plant that you break a piece off and you take it home and you put it in the water? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And it continues to grow. That's the way the word is. Jesus said, I have given them thy word. Thy word is true. Sanctify them through thy truth. Amen. What does that word mean? Sanctify them. Some of us can't even sit together, let alone talk about, think about being sanctified. <laughs> you know, I've attended some houses of worship. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was known some history of the church, I think that those people had it together. Mm. But I say that to show y'all the type of God we serve. Yes. We serve a God today that his work is going to go forth. Yes, it is. And it's going to accomplish what he set it out to do. But it comes back to you. Yes. What is your relationship with God? We look at St. Mark. I was St. Mark is near and dear to my heart. St. Mark, what is our relationship to God? There's some things that are man-made and there's some things that are God-made. And if you don't know the difference, you're in trouble. I came to help with that difference, St. Mark. Because until we know our identity, we can't fully understand our relationship. Amen? Amen. Jesus said something that most of us might have missed. Thou art Peter, and upon this rock. Is Peter the rock? Or is Peter the one he's speaking to? Interesting question, isn't it? Because some say the name Peter means what? Stone, rock. But you have to look at what Peter said. <clears throat> he said, what Jesus said to Peter, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed it to thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. And he said, Thou art the Son of the living God. How many of you all know that the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? Yes. Yes. Y'all heard that, right? Mm -hmm. But when it comes to building, the first stone supposedly is the cornerstone. Am I correct? Yes. So if the cornerstone is Jesus, it would make sense that Peter is a stone. And upon that stone, that he is Christ. Yes. When he identified, he identified Christ. Yes. So when he identified the cornerstone, yes. we can now build upon the house. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's get it straight and say, Mark, mm -hmm. this is a message for the whole United Methodist Conference, Yes. UMC. When it comes down to what we do and where we go to do it, it has very little to do with who we're doing it to. Amen? Yes. Amen. We come here to worship and serve a God, the true yes. and living God. Yes. It's unfortunate that we have attached things to it like Baptist. It's unfortunate we've attached things to it like Judaism. It's unfortunate we've attached things to it like Methodism. 
Because all these things that we are attaching to it, we have to be careful that it's not diluted. Amen. And the reason this message is about identity defines relationship is because sometimes the same thing that's supposed to be helping you yeah. can hinder you. Amen. Yes, man. I want to give you an example. Here's Jesus preaching and ministering. Yeah. And somebody out of love for him says to him, no, Lord, it shall not be so. And Jesus had to turn around yes. and say, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan. Yeah. The word of God tells us that when God called the sons of God together, that Satan was among them. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. If it was that Amen. way then, is that yes, way now? Yes. Yes. Amen. And you got to know that you know that you know. You got to try the spirit by the spirit. Amen. The word even tells us everything to say, Lord, Lord, ain't going to make it in. Mm -hmm. It's important that we know. And it's about relationship. And as Jesus spoke to Peter, thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. The Amen. gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Against it. Amen. You're going to come up against some things, and some things are going to come up against you. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all have had to deal with the enemy in your household? Amen. Yes. yes. How many of y'all know that same enemy comes into the household of faith? Amen. Amen. And how many of y'all know you got to know who you are as Amen. it pertains to your household? Because if you don't, the enemy will take charge of it. Amen. Yes. Yes. And you got to know who you are even in the household of faith because if not, the enemy will take charge of it. Yes. Amen. 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 How do you deal with the enemy? When Jesus came and he spoke to his disciples and he asked that question, this is what he said. And I will give unto thee the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And he said, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed Amen. in heaven. Amen. Now this is a word from St. Mark. Yes. You know, I remember the saying about our doors swinging on hinges of love. There's a difference between the corridor and the actual uh, service here where we do our ministry. And there's a door that marks that difference, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. But he didn't say, I'm going to give you the key to the door. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. When we enter this, this sanctuary, we should be able to transform this sanctuary into a place where God dwells and God exists. Amen. We have the acolyte bring forth the light. Yes. Symbolic of what's about to take place. Now that portion I like because it, it, it uh, symbolizes that we're about to transform this. And when we leave, get that, they take the light back and we'll take the light out into the world. <coughs> the light is with us. Yes. yes. There's no candle lit till we come. This may be the UMC building, St. Mark, whoever. This is just a property. Mm -hmm. The identity of St. Mark is with the people. Amen. Amen. The congregation. Amen. 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 How do I know that? Amen. When Jesus came here ministering, <clears throat> he came looking for something. Yes. You might even say it was lost sheep. Yes. How do I know that? If you'll turn in your Bible to John, the 15th chapter. Amen. Verse 10. Verse, it's actually like 10 through 15. I'm just going to use a couple of those verses. When you look at what Jesus said to him, I'm going to build this upon this rock. Here was the cornerstone talking to a stone. I'm going to build this. 15 and 10 says, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, 
even as I have kept my father's commandments and abided in his love. Amen. In other words, he didn't say any particular denomination or any particular religion. Amen. Amen. This is the house of love. I like that the doors hang on swinges, hinges of love. If you look at verse 11, it's about empowerment. These things I have spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. When there are some things that's troubling you, you need to do one or two things. Amen. Let's start with self. You need to check yourself. Amen. Because when there are contrary things going on around you, there's contrary spirits. Amen. And the reason you want to check yourself first is because always judge the thyself that ye not Amen. be judged. Amen. And if you judge yourself rightly and there's still this air of resentment, contention going on, then now you need to try the spirit by the spirit. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it says here, these things have I spoken to you that my joy might be in you and that your joy might be full. And Jesus went on and he did something there. St. Mark, it's about identity. Uh -huh. And we are servants. How many of us are servants today? Amen. 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 We are all servants of God. Amen. Amen. And if you think about these disciples and them following Jesus, they had to be his servants because they called them what? Master. Yes. That's the relationship, isn't it? Yes. But there comes a day when you have to really identify who you are. Yes. Where you are. And once you identify that, you can determine where you're going. Amen. 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 Look at John 15 and 15. As Jesus was speaking with his disciples, they had gotten to a certain point where they should have been off the milk and on the meat. And St. Mark, it's time we begin to develop a desire for meat. Amen? Amen. And it says, henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. This is the word that he received of his father, Amen. that he gave unto them. Amen. How many of you all know that that same word that they received is the same word that we should be sitting out there in the congregation and having ministered to us. Amen. That's the same word. That is the word that restores. That's the word that uplifts. That's the word that separates. Amen. That's the same word. I have given them thy word. Thy word is true. Amen. Any of us, or none of us have seen Jesus in the flesh. Amen. Because we know that the word of God says there was a time and a season where that presence walked this earth. Amen. That was a task that he was to accomplish, which was to be crucified. Amen. There was a task which he was to accomplish, which was to take the power from death. Amen. Which means he couldn't stay in the grave. He had to be resurrected. Amen. We know that the word says he also sat at the right hand of God. We know that it also says the work that he was given, it was finished. Amen. Amen. But we know also that he says, sanctify this word, for thy word is true. Mm -hmm. Amen. We also know that he prayed for his disciples, and not just them, but all those that should hear the word. Amen. And here I stand before you today with this question of identity. It's not about Jesus' identity today. Jesus knew who he was. There was no convincing him otherwise. Amen. But I'm concerned with your identity, St. Mark. Yes. Do you know who you are today? Do you know who you are today? Amen. You know, when it comes down to the word, there's some truth in it that sometimes we miss. Amen. 
we can miss some truth. As I read this scripture, let me tell you what this scripture said to me. This scripture said to me, St. Mark, you belong to the United Methodists, and they're going to send you a servant periodically. But it also says, St. Mark, while they're sending you those servants, you need to know who your friend is. God is your friend. Amen. Regardless of who sent here or whom or what, you need to know Amen. that God is the friend. Yes. When Jesus yes. said, ye yes. are, he's yes. going to call you friend, you're the yes. friend, you're friends of God. Yes, thank you, God. And regardless of who comes or goes, the spirit of God shall continually dwell. Yes. It's the word of God that is not thee in thy mouth yes. and in thy heart. Yes. And when you know the identity, and you know your identity, yes. like a tree planted by a river, we shall not be moved. Amen. 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 When Amen. God is with you, it yes. doesn't matter how many come up against you. Yes. Because when God is on your side, yes. it doesn't matter the weapon, it shall not be. Amen. Amen. It will thank be formed, you, Jesus. but it shall not prosper. Yes, Amen. thank you, Lord. I want to bring this home for you all. You know, when it comes to the Word of God, it is so meaty and it's so rich. Yes. And even now, with what I'm sharing, some of it I don't know if you're ready for it or not. Yes. But notice when I prayed, I prayed that God would give it to me. Yes. All I got to do is tell thank you what Jesus. He gave me. I remember when I was young with my children, they couldn't do meat, but they had a thing that I picked up from the yes. elders of that time. Yes. They get the meat and they yes. chew it, and it still had the juice and everything in it. Yes. And they put it in the baby food. Mm. Sounds gross, don't it? <laughs> but that was the way you feed the young children. Amen. You got to serve it to them in a manner which they can eat. Amen. This title is Identity Defies Relationship. And there's a question of identity in the world today. There's a question of identity in the world today. How many of y'all know somebody is questioning your identity? Amen. When confusion is stirring up, somebody is questioning your identity. And if they're not questioning yours, you sure as hell better be questioning theirs. Because yeah. God is not the author of confusion. No, Amen. 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 But I want y'all to remember this because as things go on down here in this world, because we're still in the world, but we're told to be in the world but not oh, of the world. world. In other words, there's a separation. Yeah. Amen. And the line is so clear that there was this scenario in the Bible where there was a rich man. Amen. They had a servant named Lazarus and he yes. didn't feed Lazarus properly. And it says they both died. Amen. And you can look at this feeding. Let me just tell you what God just gave me. You can look at this feeding in a lot of ways because I'm feeding you now. So when he didn't feed last probably they both died, and this servant opened his eyes and he was in hell. Amen. And Lazarus was in the bosom, the bosom of Abraham, Abraham, and he told Lazarus, he said, Go back and tell my brothers, because I wouldn't want them to be here. Amen. And I'm paraphrasing. Amen. And he said, no, your brothers had Moses. Amen. In other words, we have the Bible. We have the scripture. There's no reason why we should be perishing today. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Amen. But there's a difference in just having this Bible and understanding. Amen. 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 Solomon prayed for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and I'll add Amen. all these things unto you. Here's how thin, but yet how broad the separation is. John 8 chapter, if you turn there. John 8 and 23. When Jesus was speaking and he was challenged, he was challenged by some men that supposedly knew the word. And as they challenged him, he had to defend himself. How many of you know that if you know the word, you can defend yourself? Amen. 
We all know about the armor of God, the shield of faith. We can block those fiery darts. But there's also a sword, and that sword is used, I look at it as an offensive and a defensive weapon. It can block some things, but at the same time, it can deliver a blow. It says that it is sharper than a double-edged sword, the word of God, and it cuts to the marrow. Amen. But this is how broad it is. It says, when Jesus was speaking with them, he said, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. And he told them, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. How many of y'all know that God is still ministering today? Amen. He speaks to his messengers. And if Amen. they rightfully divide the word of God, they're going to speak it to you. I didn't say it's written here in the scripture because the scripture is the scripture. Amen. When Solomon became king, they had words then, but he didn't ask for words. He asked for wisdom, Amen. knowledge, and understanding. Yes. And St. Mark, I pray that God opens our ears, our minds, yes. and our hearts. Yes. Because the enemy is going about as a roaring lion. Yes. He's looking for those that are half prepared. He coming with the half truth. Amen. He's looking for people that have built their houses on the sand. Yes. Verse 28 says, And Jesus said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He. <coughs> then shall ye know that I am He. Revelation for you. <clears throat> Why would Jesus make a comment? When you have lifted up the Son of Man, Amen. then you'll know that I am He. Mm -hmm. He's making that revelation because He knows that within that flesh dwells something that's far greater than the man that walked the earth doing miracles. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that word He, John the Baptist, Said his disciples and said, Ask him, is he the one? Or shall we wait on another? How many of y'all know you got to know who he is? Yeah. Because when you know who he is, it helps you define who you are. Amen. Your identity defines your relationship. 29 says, and he that sent me is with me. The Father had not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. If there's a question on the floor, what shall we do? I do always those things that please him. If there's an attack on my character, I do always those things mm -hmm. that please him. In my victory, God will be glorified. In what appears to be my defeat, God will be glorified. Amen. You know, there are some things in the world that's called underdogs. Yes. Underdogs don't have to win. They just have to know how to fight. Y'all may not get that. No, yeah. The underdog ain't got to win. He just got to stay in the fight. Amen. 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 On a personal note, I'm the oldest of six. And when I was coming up, there was this thing. Thank God they didn't do knives and guns. They did big brothers. Everybody went home to get their big brother. <laughs> when I was the oldest of six, so which means I had five underneath me that could come get me. And they didn't get any bigger than me. But everybody else seemed to have a big brother. And I learned it wasn't about winning the fight. It was about putting up the fight so Amen. that the big brothers Amen. know not to mess with that little guy again. Amen. 
And that's why the underdog doesn't have to win. Amen. He just has to stay in the fight. Amen. Amen. The battle is not yours anyway. Amen. God just needs somebody out there on the battlefield. Amen. Somebody that represents, that can raise the standard. This is God's standard. When God Amen. does what God does, the standard is still standing. Amen. That's what he's looking for. That's what he's in need of in this hour. 31 says, and then Jesus told those Jews which believed on him. He told those Jews which believed on him. There are some people that may come opposing you. And if you know how to use the word of God and you cut them right a couple of times, they will believe in you. Okay. Amen. And that's what happened with those Jews. There were some Jews that got cut the right way. And they believed on him. Yeah. He said, if you continue in my word, then ye, then are ye indeed my disciples indeed. Amen. And he said something that was very profound. Amen. When people bog you down with religion, when people bog you down with denomination, uh -huh. when people bog you down with what they desire, Desire the things of God. Those are the things that God is going to bless. And when it comes to denominations or religions, I have no problem with them as long as they line up with the word of God. Amen. Amen. And Jesus Amen. said it this way. If they don't scatter, they are with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when it starts scattering, you better check that spirit. Amen. Or check your own. Amen. Something ain't right. Amen. 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 He went on to tell them, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. I want y'all to remember this. 34. Verily, verily, I say unto you, St. Mark, yes. whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. Amen. And the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided. You're going to hear some people, and we do it all the time. We stand up here and tell you how we are human. Yes. We put up, we put our flesh before the word of God. Amen. That's the trick of the enemy. Mm -hmm. Before we do that, we should be repenting. God, forgive me, for I have come short. Amen. Amen. And when God puts us up here, it shouldn't even be about our flesh. It should be about what the word of God says. And if someone says to you, well, you ain't doing it, you say, well, we both got to get it right. Amen. Don't disannul the word of God Amen. because of your shortcomings. Amen. The servant abided not in the house forever. The servant is just that. But the son abided ever. Amen. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free. Indeed. Amen. This message here is about identity, defined identity. relationship. And St. Mark, I want for you what I want for me. Freedom. Freedom. Thank God for freedom. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Continue, continue in my love.